Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to uh, episode 3 of Minecraft. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, some stuff that's been kind of, whoa, spawned right next to a village, look at that. Some stuff that's been kind of really irking me, and uh, I've been up all night. So this is just gonna kind of be a my bullshit filters turned down quite a bit on this one. So if you feel like I'm gonna upset you, I just advise you to walk away. Um, so I was uh, I got off my friend's stream Karibukai play. I was watching them, you know, and I was just thinking like, man, they put out such quality content and they just don't they don't get anything from it. Like they they got 10 subscribers tonight, which is fantastic, and they had an average of 20 to 25 people watching the whole night. Which is fantastic for uh, for all of us, you know, for for them. Like it's, it's great that they all that they they got that kind of viewership tonight. But what was really frustrating was after that, um, I decided to go see what other streamers were on, and I hit I'm feeling lucky, and I came across this girl uh, who happened to be the top streamer at the time. Uh, her name is Shanda Bear, and you know she was playing Battlefield One and. Pretty quality commentary, you know. I was just judging it based off the basic things, you know. How's her commentary? What's uh, what's her setup look like? Is it clear? How's her bit rate? Just the basic streaming things. And she has a good amount of subscribers. She had about 600 people watching her the whole time, which I thought was great. And um, you know, and then out of nowhere, she gets this uh, this troll raid that comes in. And it boosts about another two to three hundred people. And it's like all like pe all these people are like, oh, Scare sent us, then PewDiePie sent us, and now Keemstar sent us. And it's like it's all these other people, and I'm just like, what the fuck's going on? And uh, right before they all left, they said it was actually Keemstar that was trolling, and I'm just like, well, Keemstar doesn't have a YouTube anymore. And I was just like, you know, I'm gonna go check this out. And they said he was doing stream me, and he was. It was actually Keemstar that sent him. So you know, I. Popped over there and I started following his stream because I'd never actually seen any of Keemstar's stuff. So I had decided to uh, see where he was sending this. And this guy, oh God, you know, he's just, he's such an asshole because he has the power sort of thing. He, uh, he sent out a link to follow. I didn't know who it was because I missed it by the time I had found out where he was streaming on Keemstar. Because I just googled Keemstar stream and found him on streamme.com. And, uh, you know, so I watched him, and this kid is streaming Call of Duty, and, you know, it's nothing too unique, he's just got himself, he's got his live sub count going, and he's got, uh, he's, he's got his live sub count, and he's at 2,700, and he, they, he, Keemstar keeps pushing him to hit 3,000, so I'm thinking, like, wow, this guy is, uh, he's, he's really trying to help him out, he's not, he's not being a total jerk about it. And then he's like, okay, now everybody unsub. And he lost all 300 of those subs in like 10 seconds. It just dropped immediately. And this kid had no idea what was going on. And I'd say he was probably in his late teens, early 20s, somewhere around my age. And, um, you know, it, it was frustrating because, like, he was just trying to fuck with them just to see, out, like, what he could get out of it. And so after he stopped with him, I think about a hundred of them actually stayed sub to him. He left with like 20, 2800, something like that. And, you know, so we went to the, he went to the next person and I, I can't remember what this person's name is. I would have to uh, check my Google history because I, I didn't stick around for too long. But I noticed that she had uh, like 2300 subscribers. And uh, the main thing that he was touting with this one was tits at uh, at 4,000 or nudes at 4,000 or some bullshit like that that was capitalizing on the Zoe Burger, what the fuck ever, you know, that she's doing. And um, it, it was frustrating, but she handled it like a champ. And when she realized it was Keemstar, like she was just like trying to talk to him and like didn't get a hate rate. She actually managed to pull a shout out from him. And so I was like, wow, she handled that like a complete pro and didn't have a meltdown about like the whole sexual harassment thing that he basically just threw at her. And so I um, I looked at her, her uh, page only to find that she had, I think it was like 21 videos up and they're all stream videos. It's totally fine. Um, that's a, obviously within YouTube's terms of service and whatnot. And 
this is where the main point of the video is going, is that it, I was, oh, I already made that, um, you know, I already, uh, like, uh, this gets me so mad, because it's the same bullshit that Zoe Berger does, is that she basically exploits her body, this, this is specifically, I'm talking about Zoe Berger, you know, she exploits her body to pull in views, blah, 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 and she claims that she's really smart for doing it. But, like, she doesn't get, she doesn't put out quality content. She, like, it's undermine. what frustrates me is that it's, un she's undermining smaller YouTubers that deserve so much more, like Karibu Kai, or Cocktails and Consoles, Just Respond, God, Digital Games. The, all, all of our community that I could just go on for days about how they all, they work their asses off. You know, and they don't, they, they might not be able to afford top-notch quality uh, equipment or something like that yet because they're not a big channel, but that doesn't mean that you can't see that they're working hard to make sure that their videos are quality. And, and it, like, people will all, always, always forgive that. Like, you know, it's like, okay, they have a couple hundred subs. You can see that, like, they might not be using the $4,000 voiceover microphone but they're using a blue yeti or a blue snowball or just something like that where it gets the audio across it's clear it's not clipping it doesn't sound like trash you know and back to the girl that keemstar had rated who handled it like a champ um i had noticed that she only had been uh, a member of youtube since september of 2016 and i looked her up on google she didn't seem to uh be banned on twitch or anything like that but one thing that really irked me, and this irks me with a lot of people, and this is now, let me clarify. I'm just gonna stop playing so I can clarify this. This is not a female thing only. This is uh this is a every YouTuber that does this, I fucking hate it. Is that people that exploit their looks or uh bodily features to pull in views and subscribers and don't but they don't care about their content or quality. And this girl who had only been streaming for September, October, November, four, uh, just four months, not even because it was, I think it was like September 21st is when she joined, um, had almost had 4,000 subs already or 3,000 subs. And it, it, it was mind blowing because all she did was wear a low cut shirt and, you know, uh, put them in the thumbnail and then use that in her videos as well to pull in people because... We, everybody on YouTube knows that demographic sells. It was, it was a clickbait rampage of the, of the century when YouTubers were paid by the click, not by the minutes watched. And the same thing goes for guy gamers who are incredibly shredded or extremely good looking. You know, it's like, I hate it when people will intentionally exploit that, like, Dudes that are super buff will wear the super tight, muscly shirts, and then they'll, they'll they'll pose for the thumbnail, and then they'll try to like be like, "Oh, look how hot I am in my entire stream," but I'm not putting anything out that's actually worthwhile. Just look at me and make me popular. And it's like you have other people who love this as a passion, love it as something that they 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 want to do. They want to make a career out of it. They want to make people happy for. Um, just just because it's it's just something they love just like how I'm a musician I love making people happy for playing music and I you know I can play devil's advocate here you can let's say that people looking at other attractive people is a way of making them happy okay is that fine yes is it in the terms of conditions yes problem is is that when people are putting out quality content um they deserve to be recognized just as much as the person who put plus 40 hours of recording and editing into a single 10 to 15 minute video like my good friend Officer Dan from Kariba Kai Place slash Soda Wave Show. We've been talking about his third episode coming out of his uh, new video or yeah, of his yeah third episode of his series on over on Soda Wave Show and he put so much effort into all of his videos and like YouTube doesn't push it because there's no there's no exploitable feature. Meanwhile, you have people who, before YouTube really caught on, Zoe Berger would be like, "Oh, live twerking session." Then she'd just have herself in a bikini in the thumbnail, and it looked like shit. The gr the chroma key wasn't 
chrome it out all the way. You could still see kind of the background. She wasn't. It wasn't even a high res photo, and it was just a stock image of Black Ops. And you could see forty thousand people watching, twenty thousand people watching. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, there's there's nothing here, you know. And it's it's so incredibly angering because like even even us on Retro Millennia, you know, I've put. I don't know, three, four grand worth of equipment into this thing now. And we finally started getting some decent traction where we're, why am I using, this is, see, I'm getting frustrated. I'm not paying attention to what I'm using. Um, you know, to where we can actually have people noticing us. But, like, it's still not what Zoe Berger has or anybody else that's doing that sort of thing. And it's... It's just really upsetting because I, f I see so many small YouTubers that are like, man, I wish I could just get some more some more views, some more feedback. And it's like we're not he like a lot of YouTubers are not here for the money. There uh, there are people like Zoe Berger who are here for the money, um, you know, and that's fine if you are here for the money. That's per that's perfectly fine. Um, that's it's there for that purpose. But you know, a lot of us are here, such as myself. Because I want to make sure that I can make somebody laugh or I can relate to somebody, make, meet new friends, make, meet new people. And, you know, it's just like, I, it just never seems to be like YouTube doesn't favor the little guy anymore. And I've talked about this before, you know, and it, it's, it's, it's bullshit, honestly. Um, you know, we have a, a fairly consi consistent schedule. Um... You know, I try to stay on top, relatively on top of uploading daily. We stream every day. You know, we're we're live every single day, except with the exception of uh, Friday, December second, because I wanted to go bowling because I hadn't done that in like four months. But you know, and it's YouTube doesn't care about that sort of thing anymore. They, it seems like they're trying to promote more virality, or if that's a word, more viral videos. Um. Because it it pulls in more views and it pulls in more uh, more ad revenue for them and it just it just seems like it's becoming so disingenuine to even begin another channel because uh, lately it seems like YouTube has really been struggling with the trending page and people losing subscribers for uploading videos. I hope that doesn't happen with this video. That would really that really blow. Uh, you know, uh, and it, oh God. it's upsetting <clears throat> because it, fe it, it belittles, it almost makes it feel like we're being belittled. You know, it's like, it makes me wonder if what content I'm putting out is quality and, you know, it's always. It's always nice and reassuring when you have your friends that are saying, yeah, this was a good video here. Oh, maybe you shouldn't have said that here. But when you're not getting feedback or you're not even getting any remotely new exposure to your videos, like you're not even hitting the recommended page because you're not getting, you know, how the trending page works now is like, oh, you need you need to get like 60 fucking likes or else we're not going to push you to the front page. So you can go fuck yourself. Six, and it, it, you need so much traction to even get to the recommended or the uh, the suggested page. Oh no! And it's. I just wish YouTube would stop. I understand that they're trying to make money, but I feel like they don't realize that they're they're kind of losing sight of the fact that you they started as a very low tier platform. And now that they're this big cash cow, that they've kind of forgotten that uh, small YouTubers can still get there. But like I've, when we stream, I've been rated by channels that were fake, you know, or not rated rather, but like visited by channels that was like someone was called Jay the Gamer, and he had like 970,000 subscribers. I was like, holy shit, that's a really big deal. Like, thank you so much for for visiting, you know, and then. I uh I checked his page. Oh my god. For the love of god. You know, and I checked his page and as I checked his Twitter and I checked everything else, come to find out that it was all fake. It was all bot likes because 
he was there and then like it was all of his videos that he'd uploaded had maybe a couple hundred views here or there and then out of nowhere he was getting millions upon millions of hits and he got verified all of a sudden and like all these comments that are getting put on there are fake it, it none of it none of it was real and like that's a really dirty tactic to do because think about this if YouTube's analytic system can't pick up on that being fake that will bump them to the front and get them real views now all of a sudden we have a problem where we're juggling fake views with real views and then it if that person gets promoted legitimately by YouTube or it's like oh why don't you check this person out you clicked them once before clearly you want to see more of them it's like no not really I just wanted to see if they were legit it's just, it's oh god it's just so frustrating you know and I wish oh, god. oh I'm so gonna die oh my god I just I just wish that YouTube would still help the smaller channels you know people that put their heart and soul into it and it's like we've been doing this for two years now if you look at our first uploaded video and for that first when what was it December's two years yeah so um the first year and a half we didn't break a hundred subscribers even though we were uploading daily we were putting different types of videos out. It wasn't just gameplay, it was tech reviews. It, like, none of it was getting promoted. None of it. If we got a comment on a video, it was maybe once every, I don't know, every 50 videos or so. You know, it, it was so negligible. Unless I, like, went out of my way to self-promote on another person's channel, which then you get fucking backlash for for that. It's like, well, if I don't get, okay, so where am I supposed to do the social media? Okay, my friends and family can only watch it so many times. It's like being in a band. You can't have the same people come out to your shows because they're never, you're never going to get exposure that way. You know, you got to make connections. How do you make connections? Oh, you talk to that person without, and you can't, you got to like, there's like this middle ground you got to find of not being disingenuous about, uh, you know, one, oh God, I, I know I'm going to fucking die. I can just feel it in my, in my veins, in my bones, you know, about, yep. Oh, this is how it ends. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Um, I totally lost my train of thought. I just I want YouTube to make sure that they understand that they need to still help YouTubers that aren't already big. Why the fuck does PewDiePie need to get keep fucking getting pushed to the front of the page every of of the channel every fucking day? Like he is the biggest YouTuber. There, there is. He's almost at 50 million subs. And it, you know, it's like he's getting literally one to two subscribers a second. He's growing at an insane rate. He's he, like, he just because he puts out so many videos, I don't need to see him push someone that's small that I don't know about yet. Fuck you, spider. Uh, push someone that's small that I don't know about yet. Or give me a recommended on maybe a channel that has two to three thousand subscribers. Okay, they're still relatively small, where they're working their ass off to make sure that they can get those followers. Like, I'll take Philip Franco, Philip DeFranco, for example, huge YouTuber. He's almost at five million subscribers, which is fantastic for him. But he knows the pattern. He knows how to get views. He knows how to play his thumbnails, his titles, everything. He already has a dedicated fan base. I'm already subscribed to him. I don't need to fucking see him in my recommended list. You know, it, it's just the whole the whole gist of this. Stop pushing big channels that already are big. There's no need for it. There's absolutely no need for it anymore. And stop pushing channels that are going big because they're exploiting features that are easily exploitable. That's bullshit too. They're not putting out quality content. Look for channels that are actually working hard and making it look like I'll show you here. Let me close out of OB, uh, out of Minecraft really fast and go to you to uh, let's see. Go to our display capture here. We'll turn that on, right? You can see that I've got that going, and uh, I'll bring OBS over so we get that crazy drop back and and YouTube gaming. YouTube gaming. 
This is what our stream this setup is what looks our stream like. If you've never seen like. it before, if you've never seen it before, and you can't tell and me that I haven't put, put at least a relatively decent amount of work in. You can't, see, you our can't see our stream goal up here because I don't have it turned on right now. This is where chat goes. This is where game footage goes. This is the old Elgato. So it's kind of weird. So it's kind of ratio nonsense. Ratio nonsense. You can see where our donations come through. When fans decide to donate, I don't ever force that upon them. They are more than they are more than do it if they so please. But I would never push that upon them. Never push that upon them. I've made this banner. I've made, I've made this banner. These banners. I've made these I found banners. this free background. I've, I've, I've contrasted I've, everything. I've contrasted you know, it's, everything. I've put you know, countless it's, hours into our channel. Hours YouTube, into our just channel. YouTube just doesn't because care. Because we haven't made something because that's gone viral. Made something we haven't made something that's been like, holy, holy shit, shit. Look at what they can do every single time. Every single time. But you don't think for a second that I can't entertain people. You're totally wrong. You're totally wrong. I'm... You know, I try I'm, to be super I genuine to, be to every single person, person, every that, comes single person that comes through to our streams, to our, streams, to our, to our channels. To our I try to respond, channels, to, every respond to, every to every comment, to every video, every video rather. Every video but I try to respond to every comment on every, every video. On every video. Make sure that they know that make we're sure here. We're not going to just be like, yep, thanks for the comment. I'm not going to fucking talk to you. No, it's like talking to you. Making connections. Making connections. Talking to people. And it's... You can see that I'm fired up about it. see that I'm fired up about it. It just seems like YouTube doesn't care. And YouTube, I looked at my social blade the other day and it said we gained 21 subscribers. I know. I didn't get. I know I didn't get twenty one the other day because we've been sitting at eight forty one for the last four days. Last four days, and it's like I and just like I just. <sighs> they're trying. They're, they're pushing trying, it in they're such pushing a way. It in such a way that it's getting that increasingly it's getting more increasingly difficult more difficult for small YouTubers. For small YouTubers to to. <clears throat> get large, get you know, large. and it's not. It's, you know, and I, it's not. It's, if I couldn't monetize, I, if I couldn't monetize video, a single video, I would not care. I would not care. I would not give a flying. Would not give a flying. Because I haven't made shit. Because I haven't made shit anyway. I don't care. I like making videos because I like talking to people. I like making people happy because if they feel happy, it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel happy. And I, and I, I noticed that I developed that I developed that pattern in junior year. Junior year. Physics my teacher, she physics said, teacher, she to said, my parents at a parent teacher, parent teacher conference, conference, he's a great kid, and I noticed that he loves, and loves and making people laugh, and, people and I never knew that, I never realized that, that until she said that, that, until she me. said that to me, and then I realized when, and I, then made I, realized when I made someone laugh, the next day in school, next day in school that I laughed with them, and that I had a revelation of elation from how happy I felt, and I just, I couldn't believe it, man, I just, I, mm, 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 I'm gonna end this video now because oh, green screen. You're gonna, you're gonna get it together. No, my 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 webcam locked up. That's good. There we go. Okay. God, you know, YouTube, you're really fucking up, and uh, you don't care. You don't fucking care. Every YouTuber started small somewhere, unless they bought their likes, views, and subscribers. I just don't, and I don't appreciate. That you're pushing the different demographics because it pulls you more money. That's why I'm starting to try to push Vidme more because it's they they fucking care. They're a big corporation already or relatively big. They've been around for a couple years now, and they I can literally tweet at them almost any given time and within a couple hours to a day they will like and retweet me to help us out. It's fantastic. They actually care about their content creators. You need to too. I need to go to sleep. All right, I'm signing off. I'm 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 incredibly frustrated, and I I need to I need to unsteam. Thanks for sticking through the whole thing. You've stuck through the whole thing, Jesus. It's been like 25 minutes. Uh, leave your thoughts below. You know, I'm not gonna tell you to subscribe or like, but. I want you to I want you to leave your comments below about this one. This is uh I like what Philip DeFranco says about it's a conversation. You know, it's not just me uh rambling for rambling to an audience. I like I actually like to have conversations with people as if that if I didn't get that point across in the last five to eight minutes of me saying that I like making people laugh and making them feel good. Uh I don't know I don't know why you're still here. Um Thanks again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.